Hey guys, today is Monday, September 28th, and we are going to be doing your reader's notebook pages, which are 46, 47, and 48. Your directions for page 46, um, we are dealing with long vowel sounds for O, U, and E. Remember, long sounds are when the vowels say their name. Read the words in the box. Cross out the words with short vowels. The short vowels are a, e, i, a, and a. Uh. They are the short vowel sounds, okay? They don't say their name. They say their other sound. Use the words that are left to complete the jokes. So these are your word words to choose from in your word box. We'll start with this one since it's at the top. What do you get? if you toss a big blank into the lake? The answer is a wet stone. So what do you think? Starts with S. Okay, stone. They kind of gave you the answer to that one. Okay. So I'm gonna circle it. All right, now, before we start, we can make this easier on ourselves and we can cross out all the words with short vowels. So we can say these mole, mole. You hear the O sound in the word mole. Also, it gives us this clue most of the time if it's vowel consonant E, that sneaky E makes the vowel say its name. Luke, hunt, uh, uh, that is short. Short vowel sound for you. We don't want that. Rose, you hear the O. Nest, we hear E. Eh. Home, we hear the long O sound. Blonde, we hear A. Ah. Ken, we hear the short E sound. Broke, we hear the long O and there's that E on the end. Stamp, we hear short A. Rust, we hear short O. Mask, short A. And nose, we hear long O. What smells best at Jen's blank? Okay, well, starts with an H, so this is pretty easy. We just look up here and find a word that starts with H, and there's only one, so it's home. Okay, same thing with this one, Jen's N. There's only one word that starts with N, and it's nose. Oops, I didn't mean to cross that one out. I meant to just circle it. Okay, so nose down here, okay? Um, these two at the bottom you can do on your own. And we're going to flip over to page 47. And this is nouns for people and animals. A noun is a word that names a person or animal. A noun can name one or more than one. A spider spins a web. Well, a spider is the animal. Um, nouns name more than just people and animals, okay? They also name places and things. But in this case, we're only dealing with people and animals, okay? Your thinking question for you to keep in mind as you read these, which word names a person or animal? All right, the directions. Read each sentence, write the noun that names a person or animal. The B plays on the swings. Even though the swings, even though it's a noun because swings are things, it's not a person or an animal, okay? So in this case, it is B. So then you would write B on the line. The girls run away. Well, girls are people. And then we write girls on the line. Okay, do three, four, five, and six on your own. Shouldn't take you very long because you don't have to write the full sentence. You only have to write the word. 
Oh, it's a crossword puzzle. We're going to add E to finish each word, then use the words in the puzzle. So we need to go through here first and add E onto every one of these. And notice when you add E, it totally changes the word, okay? So like this word without the E is cub, like a bear cub. And then when you add that E on the end, it makes the U sound long. So then we have cube. And then ton, tune. This would be rud and then rude, okay? Nos, nose. Ston, stone. Then we have rule and smoke. So crossword puzzles, the way they work is you have these numbers here that match the numbers either going across or going down, okay? So anytime it goes across, you're going this way. And sometimes I have my students write this little arrow beside of the word across because it lets them know that the words are going to go this way. When it's down, you're going to write the words down in the boxes. So we're putting a down arrow. Okay. So number one, we can do this two ways. Okay. You can start with the with all the across first, or you can start with the numbers first. I'm gonna start with the numbers first, okay? And it says, sing it. Well, what can you sing? Pole, rude, cube, tune. We can sing a tune. So when you go down, you put one letter in each little box, and then you can circle it or cross it out to let us know that we've already used it. Number two is a cross, and your clue is what to do or not do. Hmm. Pull, brood, cube, nose, stone, rule. Rules are things that you should do or not do. Like um, a rule here is that we always line up quietly. That is what you should do. What you should not do is run in the hallway. That's what they mean by rules being what you to do or not to do. They're not saying rules are something that you're not to do, okay? And that is it for your reader's notebook pages today.